championship pedigree. Two teams that feature some of the real stars of our generation. You got to love it. That's great team play. This is how basketball should be played. You want to talk about a game for the ages. This is one of the greatest teams in NBA history. You just can't take these moments for granted. The Spurs earn a rematch with the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. What a terrific matchup. Two teams with championship pedigree. Parker on the drive, nearly lost it, still dribbling. Parker with two to shoot. Just gets it off the time. And he banks it in. Oh, what a block from James. Oh, my goodness. It's up the three. Puts it in. Danny Green does it again. Now has an NBA Finals record. Three out of three from the corner. Bang! Season to end tonight. Duncan comes to the rim and blocks it. What a play by Tim. Now LeBron. Gonna have to hurry up. Turns the corner. Gets bumped. This jump shot. Got it, LeBron! The Miami Heat have won the 2013 NBA title. Two weeks of tremendous basketball theater ended up with Miami winning their second straight title, winning the last two at home. San Antonio lost game six. They'll never forget this. After leading by five with just over 20 seconds remaining, of course, LeBron James won his second straight finals MVP award. And the last time the NBA saw a finals rematch was 98 when the Bulls took on the Jazz for the second year in a row. Thanks to Michael Jordan's game-winning shot in Game 6, the Bulls defeated the Jazz for the second consecutive year. And Tim Duncan was asked about this year's rematch with the Miami Heat. You know, it's, it's unbelievable to, to, to regain that focus after uh, exactly that devastating loss that we had last year. But we're back here and we're, and we're excited about it. And uh, we got four more to win. We'll do it this time. You know, I think we're a little bit deeper off the bench. Uh, I think our bench play is better than it was last year. Uh, Kawhi Leonard's matured a bit. Uh, and I think, you know, our guys, uh, they actually grew from the loss last year. Uh, you know, I call it fortitude. I think they showed an unbelievable amount of fortitude, if I can compliment my own team uh, humbly, uh, to have that tough loss, especially the game six, uh, and not have a pity party. Uh, and come back this year and get back to the same position, uh, I think that's fortitude. And I'm, I'm really proud of them and even happier for them. We're going to give us last year everything we got to, to get the trophy uh, again. But uh, we know we're facing a, a very talented and tough team and uh, it's going to be rough. But of, of course, we, we believe in our means and uh, we're going to do our best as always. When these teams met in the regular season, each one on their home court, the average margin of victory was 18. The big threes did play in both games. Maybe that fine once upon a time uh, contributed to <laughs> all, all hands being on deck for the regular season series. Rick Hamlet, Dennis Scott, Mike Fratello. And I want to talk home court advantage. San Antonio's won seven straight home playoff games by 15 plus points. That's an NBA record. The Heat have won 11 straight home playoff games. That's a franchise record. Do you see this as a home series or, you know, these teams can win on the road as well. So how do you break that down? No question both teams can win on the road. They've shown that, but they fought so hard to get home court advantage. So obviously you give the nod to the Spurs. And the reason I say that, 28 seconds in, in game six, you know, uh, Ginobili misses a free throw. LeBron James comes down and hits a three. And then Kawhi Leonard misses a free throw with 19 seconds. Then Ray Allen hits that big three. So when you're at home, maybe you make your free throws, you get that long rebound, you get some of those 50-50 balls, and now you finish out the game. That's the reason why you want home court advantage. If it comes down to that last game, you want to be the team that has that game in your building. And just think about it. If the rules last year were like they are this year, that never would have happened of Miami winning the last two games at home because now it's 2-2-1-1-1, two, two, one, 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 not 2-3-2. Two, two. Coach, I'll start with you here. Uh, the small forward matchup between LeBron James and Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi had some nice moments against the King in the regular season. Can he carry that over to the finals? Well, look, he's come off of guarding very difficult players, okay, here throughout the playoffs. So uh, they put him on. Durant for a big stop at the end of the game tonight and he forces a turnover in that situation. You may have moments where you do a decent job against LeBron James, 
but realizing how talented, how great LeBron is and how much he has the ball in his hands, that's not an easy assignment over a seven-game series. And, Coach, this is a different LeBron. Last year, they made LeBron a jump shooter. Let's remind some of the viewers, remember, they back off LeBron and say, LeBron, you're going to have to make jump shots to get out of here. And eventually, he started making some shots, and then, of course, about rebounding. So is LeBron going to make shots, and which bench is going to make the most threes, I think, has the upper hand in this series? LeBron averaged only 18 and a half points in the two games against San Antonio in the regular season. And the 2014 finals begin Thursday, 9 o'clock, ABC. Game two also from San Antonio. That will be June 8th, 8 o'clock on ABC. Then the series shifts to Miami for games three and four. And remember, it is 2 2 1 1 1 this season and pregame shows on NBA TV. It's, it's a very tough, very tough moment. We were a few seconds away from winning the championship, and we let it go. Oh, it was by far the best game I've ever been a part of. The ups and downs, the roller coaster, the emotions, good and bad throughout the whole game. To be a part of something like this is something you would never be able to recreate once you're done playing a game, and I'm blessed to be a part of something like this. You know, we've seen the championship board already out there, and the, the, you know, the yellow tape. And, uh, you know, that's why you play the game, you know, to the final buzzer. It was hard. It was maybe the, the worst loss uh, in my whole career. Uh, it was tough to swallow. I don't know what happened in, in the fourth and overtime. Uh, just opportunities weren't there. It's going to be a shot that I'm going to remember for a long time. You know, and, you know, there's a lot of shots that I've, I've made in my career, but uh, this will, will go you know, high up in the ranks because of the situation. James catches, puts up the three. Long go. Rebound box. Back out to Allen. His three-pointer. Tie game with five seconds remaining. It's back-to-back titles for the Heat. The 2013 NBA Championship resides once again in Miami. Parker the other way.